Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Cube SMP server. I was welcomed back by Dull. She's happy to have me here. <laughs> Glad to know. <laughs> but uh, if we go down here, it looks like B has finished the build for her flower shop. Let's go check it out. I don't know if she's selling anything yet. I need to be able to see in here, so I'm going to place some temporary torches just so I can see. You know, we'll leave them here just so that mobs don't spawn. She's got a little indent here. Anything that she's selling? Oh, she does have flowers. Ah, she does have flowers. Uh, does she have every single type in the game? Oh, she does. Follow. Okay, instructions and flower orders deliveries. So, introduction. I guess we can read both. Welcome to Bee's Flower Shop. A bunch of unnecessary exclamation marks. <laughs> Stack of flowers costs two iron. Okay. Read other book for flower decorations or flower special deliveries. All right, so we just need to make sure that we do two iron per stack. If you're a caring person and want to deliver a bunch of flowers to that special someone, well then this is the place to be. Leave an order and two irons and I will make your partner's dream come true. Hmm, who do we want to send flowers to? Let's, uh, do we have iron? Let's go to get some iron. I want to send flowers to somebody. <laughs> this is going to be funny. You know what? Let's send some flowers to H. That's going to be funny. I wonder if he's refilled on soul sand yet. Let's check it out. Guess not. I guess not. All right, so look. Yes, I've got so much iron now that it's just consistently refilling itself. I wonder if I got a sale. I was told I might have gotten a sale, so I want to check that out. Oh, I do. Nine diamonds. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, don't use ender pearls when you don't need to, Grazer. You don't need to do that. Um, yeah, let's head back to the flower shop so that we can pay for this. Oh, thank goodness, man. I love making free money like that. Nine diamonds for iron. Love it. Don't even have to lift a finger. Well, I did have to lift a finger to collect the payments. So deliveries, she said, leave two iron. So payments are here. And do I leave the instructions in the booklet or what? Oops, let's get that. Uh, leave an order and two irons and I will make your partner's dream come true. How do I leave an order if you've signed the book? <laughs> um... Okay, um, I will, huh, <laughs> can't leave an order. I don't want H to see it though, you know? Huh, where do I leave an order at? Hmm, we don't have leather to make our own book, so I'm just going to put a sign here that says, ah, no, I don't want to make, I don't want to put it there. I fear she will not see that. Okay, I'm going to. I'm just gonna put a sign here. So, please deliver. Uh, what do we want to get? H. Let's get um pink tulips. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, even though there's not even a stack, we'll we'll give H. Uh, okay. So please deliver pink tulips to H bomb ninety four. There we go. From Grazer. There we go. Okay, well that's B's new shop, everybody. The flower shop. Oh, 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 jeez! Do not do that, you creeper! Oh my goodness, scared the fudge out of me. All right. Anything else new? Pat has not worked on his sandstone yet. It's just kind of sitting there. But I wanted to show you guys what we're gonna be doing this episode because we need to finish the pizzeria off. I wonder if we got any more sales with the minute shop. I didn't expect there to be sales in this minute shop, to be honest. But Mr. Mitch already did something, you know. So let's, let's give it a check. See if we did. Nope. <laughs> I didn't expect there to be anyways unless we really needed minutes, which, you know, a lot not a lot of people ever do need minutes so desperately. So I didn't expect there to be many sales there, but we'll go and stock up our, uh, our diamonds and our ender chest, and I'll show you the pizzeria and what work I've done on it off camera. Can we make this? Oh, 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 we just didn't make it. Please sell dirt at your block shop. <gasps> ah. Oh, yeah? You want me to? Meet me there. Let's go sell some dirt to Dull real quick. Man, I've got so much dirt, it's unbelievable. So many stacks of dirt. This is great that we want. We have a customer that wants dirt. <gasps> oh, man. So here's my plan for the block shop, by the way, while we wait for her to arrive. I'm planning to put, like, a spiral staircase here and making the block display smaller. The spiral uh, staircase will, of course, lead to the second floor of the block shop where we can collect more blocks and sell more stuff. And it might look more comfortable. I'm debating whether I put it here 
or do I put it here on this side? You guys decide in the comments, right or left. I'll probably put in an order for Bionni to do that for me though. Where's Dull? You close? Want to make sure she's not making me. Ugh. <laughs> Where is she? Dull. Oh, perfect. All right. Come right in. <laughs> One gold per stack. How much does she need? Oh, she's going to go grab the gold. All right. Want to hop in a TS call? All righty, doll. So, you got the gold for me. I've got the dirt for you. I can sell you five five stacks and nine extra dirt for your needs. One gold per stack. Go ahead and throw it over at Fred. And you can take Perfect. it. Perfect. Throw it at Fred. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Five. It's there all you yours. Go. It's in the storage chest down here. Just take all the dirt. Yes. <laughs> no, One, two, three, no taking four, stone. Five. That stone's extra what? for the. No, I didn't. I didn't take any. Don't worry. You Don't didn't take worry. your extra I just stack. Need the dirt. You didn't take your extra stack. I of did. Dirt. There's one left. No, there isn't. Oh, that must have been lag then. I saw an extra You're one. Lagging. <laughs> <You're> lagging. <laughs> All right. Well, Kay. good good purchase. Good <laughs> yeah. See ya. Yeah. Later. <laughs> All right, now that we sold some dirt and we got rid of all that dirt that Bionni used to prank us to dull, <laughs> which I'm pretty happy with, the rest of this episode is going to be planning out the pizzeria and the automation of it. So I will show you what I'm talking about if we head there now. And about a little way of that. I just passed her. That's funny. Okay, so here's what I did with it. I don't know if you guys are going to like this or not, but... So H fixed the map. So now when you enter in, there's paintings everywhere. And there's a huge map of spawn at the top. Now here's what I did. I put signs over every button, one gold per item for the extras, for the toppings, and then I put two gold per item for like the main toppings here, because usually people want, you know, pepperoni, bacon, or just bacon, and then the main pizza. I said pay here, so you pay here, and then there's a collect here sign, so collect order. I might just say collect here, because that would be consistent, so I will do that. Collect. I love my new chair. I don't know if I've mentioned this in the episode yet. Sometimes I forget if I did, but I got a new chair. And holy smokes, it's so good. <laughs> I, it's, it feels so comfortable, man. Uh, but anyway, so if I, I put some sample ingredients in there now. So I'm going to go ahead and order a... Did that work? I'm not sure if it did. Let's go see. Hmm. I didn't hear a tick. Why did it not work? <laughs> Let's go check it out and investigate. Because this is what I was uh, aiming for with the testing here. I covered it up with stone. Whoop. All right, so what's not working here? I just hit the lever. It should have pulsed this. I fixed it, by the way. A lot of you said why H actually did the diagonal way. This is why. So why didn't it work? Hmm. Let's break the roof for a second. Click it. Can we reach? Oh my goodness, are you serious? I don't have the pizza connected to one. <laughs> there we go. And I just need to cover it up with stone now. All the way to the... Like this. Okay, now it's good, I think. No, we need to make this work. So that looks symmetrical. No, it was better looking before. My bad. Does that look good? Well, I mean, it's all going to be covered, but I just want to make sure it looks consistent. Why is that stone there? Right here. There we go, now it looks a bit consistent. Now let's back, head back into the restaurant here, see if we hear a tick. <laughs> that was kind of embarrassing. All the way back in we go, okay. So, if I want a pizza, now I hear something, but surprise, we don't have actually any pumpkin pies. And that's what we're gonna be working on for this episode. So that's why nothing appeared here. But I wanna show you the sample items I did for everything else. So I had, I have a cheese, I think. I have a pepperoni. I have a bacon. I have a tomato. I have a lettuce, I have an onion, and I have an olive. I want to see what they look like. Here we go. So this is the tomato. Is that the tomato? No, that's the pepperoni. This is the pepperoni. Oh, it appears I didn't have any cheese. I don't have any item for cheese, so I'll fix that as well. Oh, because I thought the cheese was the pizza. This is all confusing. I aligned these wrong, and that's why those don't deliver anything. But it would be pumpkin pie cheese, pepperoni, lettuce, tomato... This is, um, no, this is wrong. <laughs> this is wrong. It dispensed it in the wrong order. This is the bacon right here, and this is the olive. No, that's the onion. I don't have an item for bacon. 
You guys get what it's going on. I'll fix all of this. All right, I'll fix all of this. Those are just sample items for now. But we want an infinite supply of pumpkin pies. So I asked H earlier today what pumpkin pie is actually made up of, and he said it is the actual pumpkin itself, eggs, and sugar. And I was looking, I was thinking, this can all be done automatically. So I'm gonna build an underground to the restaurant here, like a huge area where we're gonna automate everything, like everything there has to do. Oh, and this has gotta go too. This is one other thing I wanted to work on was getting rid of this water here. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a pen with chickens where the eggs will flow down to the collection chest. We're also gonna build an automatic pumpkin farm, which will give us pumpkins all the time, and an automatic reed farm. And when we need to restock on pumpkin pie, we'll just come down and craft it all together and it should work as planned. What do these lovers here do? That's what my concern is. But for now, I'm just gonna quickly get rid of this big water pool and then we will get started with our project. But I wanna know what this does. What does that do? I'm not sure what that does. Oh, what is this? What is this? Ah, I see. These are the lights. Okay. These are the lights. I don't know if I can touch those. I'll just keep it as it was. All right. So I cleared out the water here and I've got, I'm clearing out some dirt. This, as you can see, is my payments chest. This is where people are going to pay. I've got the eggs. I've had all this stuff on me, the materials to make the uh, automatic melon farm. And then I just need to make the automatic reed farm, which I need to look at H's underneath the iron farm for. Um, and I brought some torches. I thought I did. Yeah, they're there. They to light this place up. But I had an idea. An idea sparked my mind as I was doing this. Um, this needs to be covered, by the way. Oh, geez. Holy smokes. Uh, an idea sparked my mind. I think I might have a staff room at the back of the the, uh, the register, the cash register, where you can actually access this. So it's like staff. It's like the kitchen, you know? This would be the kitchen. I think it... Oh, all right. This is going to be so great. Pumpkin pie can be automated. This is awesome. And everything is going to be working. And, like, the egg place would be one of the sections of the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Now, I got to watch out because I don't want to dig into the supercharged creeper area. I'm sh oh, it's right here. Like I'm, we built this place right over it, so I can't touch this part here. I gotta, I gotta keep my focus over here, because I do not want to let a supercharged creeper loose into my kitchen area. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not looking to make this place nice right now. I'm just gonna build all the machines, and then we'll call it a day, and then maybe we'll look, make it look nice another time. All right, so I cleared out like kind of a square shape area here. I want it to look semi nice for organizational purposes at the moment. But yeah, you get the idea. I just want to build the stuff as it is right now. But I don't want to dig up to the surface. But yeah, we got this big rectangular area down here. I'm debating. Yeah, we should probably build one, dig one more. All right, there we go. Now we got a solid rectangular area. I think I'm going to start with the chickens for the eggs. So for that, I think I have fence posts. Oh, I do not. Dang it, man. I might need to get fence posts so I can make kind of like a chicken square <laughs> where uh, we can get those eggs made. All right, so this would be the main section of the kitchen here. People walk down and then for every aisle, like there would be different aisles that lead to different things and it would all go back to a collection chest. That's my goal with this. And obviously it's not going to look good. So disclaimer, I want to put dirt there to cover that up. Man, selling dirt's so easy. Can I reach? Oh, you're kidding. There we go. But yeah, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a, a separate aisle for each one. I don't wanna interfere with the creeper, so I think we're gonna have them go directly underneath the restaurant. The restaurant ends here. I don't think this is interfering with anything, so we're gonna have the first place be right here. We're gonna have an aisle that goes down, and then we're just gonna have it open up. All right, so here's my idea with this, guys. I did a few tests with the hoppers, uh, and I need more stone and some more dirt. But if I put some hoppers down here, and I have some chickens in here, and they lay eggs, all the eggs will filter through the hoppers. Now, my idea with this is because I can't really transport adult chickens in here, and I have eggs, I have a small chance of actually getting two... Oh, I have two stacks of eggs. I have a small chance of actually getting chickens out of this. One in five or one in eight, something like that. So I'm planning to 
have the baby chickens go into his pen until they turn into adults and then transport them into the system where they will hopefully lay eggs and eggs and eggs again. Now, I want more than two. I want like a lot of babies, so I might put two to begin with and then breed them and breed them until we got a ton sitting in here. So it's like a chicken farm basically where we're filtering the eggs out for the pumpkin pie. But uh, then there will be a row of hoppers that lead outwards, and I built this with even blocks, which was my mistake, because it's a 5x5 five five room. Actually, it's a 6x6, six six, I think. Yeah, it's a 6x6 six six room, which I don't know why I did that. I meant to have it a 5x5, five five, but alright, whatever, it works. So, hmm, if we do that, I want kind of, ah, we might make this 5x5, five five, actually. Huh. <laughs> no, I'll leave it at 6x6. Six six. I want the, the hoppers to filter through. And I've already created like the kind of area for the second room that's going to be the actual melon farm. And then the reed farm will probably be on the opposite side. They're all going to filter through a chest that I'm going to put somewhere here, right in the middle, that will be the collection chest. And then I'm going to put a crafting table right next to it, like right here, where I can craft all the stuff and restock. So I'm going to go get some more uh, items, guys. Uh, like wood and stone and I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so I've got some more materials here. I think it's time to go ahead and create the fence gates that are going to hold these little chickens. So we just need oak, oak, oak wood, <laughs> oak logs, sorry, not oak. <laughs> we only need oak planks, not oak logs. So let's get a few sticks here and we'll go ahead and take the wood back because we don't need the bow and make some fence gates for these guys so we can breed them and we'll have them grow up in here. There we go. See how many we can actually get. There we go. We got one out of one stack and two, three. Perfect. We got three in there. Hopefully they grow up. We'll always be in a loaded chunk probably with these guys. Now we need to fill in the stone. Um, I want to have a hopper go here. And I want them to lead. I'm going to make a central chest now. That's like right in between. So we will make that using, oh, using this <laughs> crafting table right here. You guys are going to like this once it's done, if you don't know what I'm doing yet. It's going to be pretty cool. So let's make the chest here with all the loot. I'm wondering if I should have them all in separate chests now that I think about it. So there would be one chest here and then one chest. Yeah, let's have them all in separate chests. So the eggs would go here and the melons would go here. Yeah, that's, or the melons. Pumpkin. Pumpkins would go there. And uh, we'll have the hoppers lead them out towards that chest. Actually, they need to, it needs to be in the ground because we need to level it out with the hoppers. And I'm not trying to do some crazy dispenser elevator or dropper elevator right now. So we will level that out and we will lead it back to the chicken farm. All right, so this is how it's going to look for now. Uh, if we do manage to change it to, or if we do decide to change it to a 5x5 five five room, then of course we'll just cut off this end right here and it'll lead out in a single fashion to the chest. I'm not really going for looks right now, so it doesn't really matter to me <laughs> if we make it five by five, but it's up to you guys. It kinda looks off. I will see how it looks using a five by five. All right guys, this would be your even five by five room here with the hoppers on the ground. It's more symmetrical, and I believe we don't really care about looks because it's underground and it's really just a slaughterhouse for chickens anyways. So uh, we will leave it at a five by five and we'll do the same thing over here. And that's one, two, and then, yeah, okay, so we'll cover up this side here. Now, the pumpkin farm is going to be a little bit more tricky. We did how many blocks for the aisle here? Three. And then we spread out. There we go. We now have a five by five room for the pumpkin farm, which is not going to take too long to make because I made sure I had all the appropriate materials on me. Um, but I might do some off camera thing here because I'm watching a video to try to follow how this works. So I might cut back when I finish it, but it's just a simple little kind of device where it does the same thing as the chicken farm and it kind of filters all of the items back into the main chest which we've put right here. So we'll have hoppers leading out from here. <laughs> all the redstone, uh, not like all the non-redstone people are like, ah, what are you doing <laughs> in this episode? Uh, did I drag it out from here? Yeah, the second one I dragged it out from. Man, oh man, did this take up a lot more space than I thought it was going to. <laughs> oh man like a lot more space. I'm actually glad we dug kind of down for this because I had to dig a lot up into the roof, but it's almost done. I just need to put some more redstone wiring here um, and then we'll be finished. I think we need to line up this right here, these slabs with the actual um, 
hoppers up above so that it works and we can align it correctly. So like so, top, top slabs. And then we go up <laughs> and place the final wiring. And then we just need pumpkins. Pumpkins is what I need desperately. Just there. And then we'll put the repeaters on here like so. And then we just need a redstone torch, which we do not have right now to place right here um, to power the final thing. So I'm going to go get that. And then I'm going to get a, a few more hoppers. So basically how this works, if, if you guys want to know, is... It's, it's just compact uh, a melon system. You put a melon seed here, it grows on either side. Since this will be powered, as soon as it powers, it's like the reed farm over there. This piston will push it down into the hoppers. It's automatic once it grows. And then it'll bring it through this line of hoppers here, which I'm going to have lead all the way to the chest. And then pumpkins should start to appear in the chest. <laughs> and that'll be two out of uh, the three done. These chickens have still not grown to adults. My goodness. Do you have to look at them? I don't know. I really want to get this one started as well. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go get a redstone torch and then uh, a bit of hoppers and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, I got the materials. So if we place one redstone torch here, should power all that. Perfect. So that's done. Now we just need the pumpkin, which is kind of the whole point of this. But I'm going to see if I can go ahead and make these hoppers work. I got 13 of them. I'm hoping that's enough. It actually might not be. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm hoping it is, so we're just going to lead them from the chest. Bam, 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 and I have five more. Yeah, that should be enough. Perfect. And we want to lead them down, so we'll place two hoppers like that leading down. And just to test this out, let's see if it goes to the desired location. Let's go ahead and push a block into there. What's going on? I hear a noise. Someone at my pizzeria? It's not finished. So place that in there. Let's make sure it goes all the way to the chest. And it did. Perfecto. Oh, yeah, I was like, that was way too soon. That must have not been the right block. Uh, so, yeah, that is the melon or the pumpkin farm. Brilliant. That should work very, uh, very good. I'm going to get this iron just so you guys aren't annoyed that it's not all stone surrounding it. So I will go ahead and fix that for you guys. And now I just got to work on the final machine <laughs> I want to label these actually with signs so pumpkin area and we'll say egg area over here egg area this is gonna be the kitchen so over here we want to center it we'll have it hmm maybe I just want another row so I have these one two three four five six seven eight apart and we need to break this crafting table because that's gonna annoy me so those are eight apart course break that and put that there is that one two three four what is, yeah what are they doing where are they right now oh they're in the zombie xp grinder <laughs> i was like what are they doing so that's eight apart so one two three four we just need more what are you doing buddy <laughs> ah they don't have pumpkins dang all right what are you guys doing checking out my kitchen down here? Freaking guys. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Leave. Get lost. All right. So uh, I got this room ready. Uh, I want to go ahead and quickly put a chest here so I don't forget the spot. So the collection chest for the reeds will be right here. And then the actual room area will be right here to remain consistent. And we'll have the hoppers go up here. I made 18 just in case. Although I don't think this one will require as many as the other ones. And this is two off of the actual room area. So the room area doesn't actually start until hey -ah, right over here. <laughs> there we go. And make that like that. Sweet. So cover this up, of course. And there was a huge patch of gravel here that basically cleared the whole room for me. FYI. And I'll just got to clear all of this gravel. And with my Fortune 3, I get so much flint off this. It's ridiculous. There we go. I made it a perfect 5x5. Five They're fighting me, they're fighting me. Why did I bring out apples? Why did I bring out apples? Oh man, oh man. This is bad, this is bad. I don't want to give Grape his first death though. I don't want to grieve. I'll, I'll kill Tibsy. No, no, bad, bad Tibsy. Bad, 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 bad. Bad Tibsy, bad Tibsy. Oh man. Bad, 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 bad. Oh man. 
Oh, man. Oh, no. No. Ha-ha. All right, guys. So after examining H's reed farm a bit, the concept is actually quite simple. We actually don't need all of these hoppers here because the water is going to lead it into it for us. So we actually can choose a custom length as to how how long we want it and how much uh, reeds we want out of it. So I'm going to quickly just make it this long. Uh, we want some stone here. But yeah, I did need a lot of sticky pistons and I killed <laughs> Tibzy there. I can't kill Grape though. He's got no deaths on the server. So let's do this. And we just have to put the dirt like alongside here. Do I have dirt? Here we go. So like so. Um, there we go. And then we just got to plant the reeds on top. And it should be good to go. Um, I think we need some stone down here though. And then we got to actually make the redstone room. I'm not sure we actually need stone there. I think the water goes like this, right? And it flows down. No, it does not. It, ne it needs to be leveled. <laughs> so we will level that. <laughs> there we go. And now it should work like so. There we go. So it levels itself down and it should go into a hopper, all the reeds, which will then lead into the chest. Oh, that's not good. We don't want that to happen. There we go. I just had to extend it by two blocks so that it would be the seven blocks that water can travel. And it worked out fine for me. Now I actually need to plant the reeds, so we'll plant those, like so. The kitchen is being made. This would be for the sugar, by the way, everyone, if you didn't know, for the pumpkin pie. So this would be for the sugar, and then H has, like, stone blocks right next to all of these. And some, and most actually, are all of them are powered by um, sticky pistons, which I have in my inventory, that will then plop the reeds down once the bud switch is activated. So we need to add an inverter, and I know a lot of you might not know what that is. Basically means that the sticky piston is, um, or sorry, we don't need an inverter because it's not going to be open by default. It's going to be closed by default. That's right. Never mind. <laughs> so I went ahead and I uh, replicated H's reed farm. So if you just put the reeds like this, bam, it'll just automate itself and all the reeds will go into the water here and filter through the chest. Uh, one last thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and make a sign here that labels what this place is. And then I think we'll transport the chickens and end the episode. So let's go ahead and do that. This is the reed pickup, reed area, reed area. Is that the way go? And we can put these back in their perspective positions. And I think the chickens must be adults by now. They must be. Let's check on them. Oh yeah, and they've laid a ton of eggs too. Sweet. Okay, so how are we going to transport these guys into... There's only two. Where's the third one? Oh, there they are. They're all right here. <laughs> don't, don't come out. Don't come out. Chickens, you don't want to come out. No, not now. No. Bad chicken. Okay, how am I going to get you in there? Hmm. Let's just kill you. We don't need you. Let's get the other two. I want to kind of breed these guys a bit. I'm not sure if I want to put them in right away. I kind of do, though. So we are going to go ahead and make a kind of trail. So hopefully they get it all in. Like so. Where's the beginning of it? That's what I want to find. Right here. Here we go. Oh. Yep. Get in. Get in, chickens. Fly away. What are they dying by? What they just die by? Oh, they were f suffocating themselves. Interesting. Did not even think about that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, now I gotta get more chickens and everything. Well, I think we're, we're gonna end off the episode there anyways, guys. It's because I'm fed up with working on this kitchen. But next episode, we will certainly pretty it up with all stone. And we will add those chickens back so that they can get slaughtered. I will fix this for you guys, even though I don't have any more stone. I, that is bothering me. So let's do that and add a torch there and go to the stone. So all the cobblestone marks where I need to replace with stone and all three areas are complete for collection whenever I want. So I think that's going to end it off here, guys. I will see you guys all next time. Bye bye.